वॉट इज हाई परमेट बॉलिज्म हाई परमेट बॉलिज्म इज ए कंडीशन कैरेक्टराइज बाय एन एबनॉर्मल इंक्रीज इन द बॉडीज बेसल मेटाबॉलिक रेट इट यूजली अकर्स वेन देर इज सिग्निफिकेंट इंजरी और मल्टीपल ट्रोमास टू द बॉडी सच एज सर्जरी लॉन्ग बोन फ्रैक्चर और इन्फेक्शन सेप्सिस बर्न्स स्टेरॉइड थेरेपी एंड बोन मेरो ट्रांसप्लांट ऑल्सो कॉज इट हाइपरमेट बॉलिज्म इज वन ऑफ द मेजर सिम्टम्स ऑफ हाइपर थाइरोडिज्म और ओवर एक्टिव थारॉइड दिस कंडीशन कॉजेज इंक्रीज पेरिफेरल इंसुलिन रेजिस्टेंस एलिवेटेड कैटेबोलिज्म ऑफ प्रोटीन कार्बोहाइड्रेट एंड ट्राइग्लिसराइड एंड ए नेगेटिव नाइट्रोजन बैलेंस इन द बॉडी सिम्टम्स इंक्लूड सडन वेट लॉस अनिमिया एंड फटीक Individuals suffering from hyperthyroidism may experience other symptoms such as rapid heart rate, irregular heart beat and insomnia along with a shortness of breath, muscle weakness and nervousness. Individuals may also experience increased sensitivity to heat or excessive sweating due to elevated body heat. While hyperthyroidism is a common form of hypermetabolism The condition is not always a result of a thyroid disorder. Many illnesses can cause an increase in metabolism as the body attempts to fight the illness and heal itself. This increased hypermetabolic state is referred to as extrathyroidal, meaning it is not associated with the thyroid. This type is normally seen in cancer patients or patients with severe body trauma. A positron emission tomography (PET) scan is performed to identify areas of hypermetabolic activity within the body and to determine the cause a pet scan involves injection of a radioactive substance into a patient's vein the patient then waits 1 hour to allow the substance to absorb throughout the body then lies on a table that is slid into a tunnel shaped hole in the center of the pet scanner Some recovering anorexics or bulimics may experience this condition in the early stages of their recovery. The prolonged starvation periods associated with these eating disorders result in a significant decrease in the body's metabolic rate as the body goes into starvation mode. Once the recovering patient resumes a normal diet, their body's metabolic rate rapidly accelerates before stabilizing to normal. Since hypermetabolism is a symptom and not a disease, treating it requires addressing the underlying illness. The duration depends on the severity of the illness or the degree of the trauma to the body. In most cases, once the underlying cause is remedied, so is the metabolic problem. Although the condition is a signal of a potentially more serious issue, it is one of the body's many defense mechanisms against disease and injury.